y'all. Jay Lavazzi in here. So, I just left out of Aldi's. And I gotta say, I am so proud of myself. I had set a budget that I wasn't gonna spend no more than $20 a week, which is $4 a day. So, I just spent like probably $4 and 50 cents. Seven fifty almost five dollars so i'm thinking i'm gonna switch it to five dollars but instead of going and buying me something to eat and spending 10 to 15 to 30 to 50 dollars on something for one day or not eating it at all which is what i did the other day unfortunately um i got my milk i got my bread and some hot dogs and i'm good to go that should at least hold me over for a couple days a few days I can stack up my little five dollars and then by the end of the week be able to go to the movies or go out to eat so I'm really really serious about sticking to this budget I've got goals I've got dreams that I really really want to pursue that I really really want to get period and it's not gonna happen with me exploiting cash so it's time for me to buckle down and five dollars a day five dollars a day i'm not going to document every day but i will keep up with every day that i only spend five dollars on miscellaneous items now this does not include gas it does not include bills it does not include stuff like that you know maybe my kids need something or whatever the five dollars does include me getting my kids food um, because that's extra, especially if we have something at the house. Now, if there's nothing at the house, I can't, you know, my kid's not going hungry. But if it's just like we're out and I didn't make any sandwiches to go, I'm not playing them kind of games. We're going home, we're getting a sandwich. So, we're going to see how this goes. <sighs> okay, that's all I got for today because I'm extremely exhausted. I got four days! four days and my baby will be here so um like and subscribe this video if you liked it it's i know it's really short but i just don't have the energy to be doing videos and i have not shot any in a while so um i will try to make time to get some more videos out there and make them fun and entertaining for you guys but five dollars a day you're gonna do it pray for me y'all <laughs>Okay, so maybe I with a um, co-parenting or anything like that like it doesn't pay to be rude it doesn't pay to be ugly and disrespectful and all those those sort of things you should be able to work together and you should be able to get along for the sake of those children because at the end of the day that's the most important thing so for everybody you know a lot of people bash fathers on father's day a lot of people bash mothers on mother's day um I think everybody just needs to come to a common ground and start acknowledging those kids. I don't have the best co-parenting with my my twin's father, but I don't ever put him down. I don't ever degrade him or try and disrespect him on purpose or keep him away from his kids. Um, but I also can't make him be responsible. But I can't change who he is, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to try, but I'm just going to always remember is at the end of the day is my kids, regardless of how much I don't like him. My kids love him and I have to be respectful of them and mindful of them um, as well as mindful of myself and my situation. So just try to make the best of a situation. Stop holding grudges and stop just trying to be a negative force in your children's life and in the lives of people that you're co-parenting with at the end of the day we're trying to build up a community so 
just try to make the best of the situation that you can. That's all I got. Peace.